Hi guys, it's Michelle. Today I'm going to be kicking off my home office redecorating series with all of this virus going on in around the world. I am working from home right now, so I wanted to quickly revamp this office so that it will be more comfortable for me. So I thought I would take you along the way with me. I'm going to show you how I decorated two bookcases in this office. This is the first one. So they are exactly the same, but everything is different on each one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, I'm going in with this Ming box. This is a gold box that I've moved around the house several times. It is from Z Gallery. And I did get it while it was on sale, thanks to a friend of mine. And I'm gonna start off with that. When, whenever you, I'm decorating a bookcase, I always think of repeating items because that makes it look more cohesive. So I'm going in with this vase that has a gold top and a, it's sort of like a smoky glass. And uh, it's, it's kind of giving off like a gray, uh, the smoky glass part, portion of it. And I'm going in with this beautiful silver, um, silver tray, round tray that I got from Burlington a while ago. And I think it was like $11.99 or $12.99, something like that. Um, that vase is also from Burlington and I got that on clearance. I think it was around $6.99. So I have these purple hydrangeas here inside of this vase. This vase is from Ross. It was $5.99. The hydrangeas are from AC Moores and I caught this on sale while they were going out of business you guys. Each hydrangea was only like $1.50 and when I show you the other part of the room you're going to see a lot more of purple hydrangeas. So these two photo frames I got from Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off and I'm going to put some family photos in there eventually but I don't have the ones picked out that exactly that I want right now. So when it comes to decorating a bookcase, like I was saying, you're going to repeat items to give a more co cohesive look. So I'm going in with another one of these faces, but I'm putting it on a diagonal. I'm not putting it right underneath it because it would be too heavy on one side. So here's another smaller gold main box. I'm going to go in with that. The storage is really, really important in an office and craft room. This is, these are going to get filled up with craft items and office items eventually. And I can come back and show you that. I'm going to go in with this beautiful lotus flower right here. I have several of these that I move around the house and they are from home goods. So let's go down to the next shelf. I'm going in with my favorite bookends. They are crystal. Right now you're, it's giving off sort of like a purple and pink hue, but it's really not purple and pink. It's just that I have a lot of purple on the other side of the room and it's reflecting in the crystal and my blouse is pink so that's what you're actually seeing. So I'm going to put my books in here and I'm going to stand them up straight because whenever you're dealing with a bookcase you want some books to be upright, some to be flat. Now these are all the books that I'm going to put in here but if you have a lot of books you can put books flat like where I put the gold boxes you can actually put books flat right there versus a box and it will still give the same kind of look. And then at the very bottom is where I have my printer and I'm going to put this decorative orb right next to it just to give it a little bit more, just to give more of that gold all the way through the bookshelf. And it just kind of balances things out. So this is the way it came out. I love changing around bookcases. It's so much fun. This is the way it is right now. I will probably change it again, but before I change it, I'm going to fill everything up with all of my craft items. And if anybody's interested, I'll come back and show you at the end of all of these videos how I organize all my craft and office supplies. Now here on the other side of the room is where the other bookshelf is and I'm going in with a white main box at the very top. So I'm kind of mimicking what I did on the other side but things are going to be different. So I have this little candy box, well it's like a trinket box that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then these gold glasses here, which I got from Burlington, and they were only $5.99. It was a great price. And the white box is also from Home Goods. The white box is from Home Goods. So on the next shelf, I'm going to go in with these ginger jars. And I'm going to use these to store my um, paint brushes, pens, markers, and things like that. And I do have two of those. And that was from Ross and it was $11.99. I have another tray here 
which I got from uh, from Home Goods. I'm going to try to tell you where everything came from because a lot of people always ask. Um, these little miniature tulips, which I absolutely love, they are super cute. They are from Home Goods as well. And I just took this uh, frame, this glam frame, and I printed off one of my favorite sayings off of Google, and I just put it in the frame. And the frame is from Burlington, but it could easily be DIY if you had the time to do it. Another ginger jar, I'm gonna put it on the opposite side of the first one because I am repeating items throughout the whole bookcase and it's gonna give it a more cohesive look like I was saying earlier. So on top of that, I found this camera, which is super cute and so perfect for me because I film a lot. <laughs> and I did find that at Ross and it was $7.99. So it was a great price. On the next shelf, again, repeating those colors of gold and white. Look at this beautiful elephant and it has the trunk going up. They said the elephants with the trunk going up is good luck. I don't know. Tell me what you think about that. I'm not sure. <laughs> but that's what I've heard. It was just so beautiful. I could not leave it. And that, that was from Ross. Here's another one of the bling frames. And I just put another um, positive quote in it. Just printed it off of Google on some photo paper and put it in there. Okay. This is our last shelf right here. I have this beautiful gold tray that is from Burlington. I just got it recently, so I know they still have it. But of course, right now, no stores are open, so I'm sure they'll have it when they reopen. And I'm gonna go in with these decorative balls here, which I got from Pier 1 a long time ago. I think it was like last summer. And I'm just gonna put three of them because odd numbers always work great for everything in decorating. And this is the finished look. I just absolutely love the way these bookcases came out. Guys, as always, if you have questions about anything you've seen in the video, let me know in the comments. And like I was saying earlier, if you like decorating DIYs, home decor, home decorating, go ahead and click that subscribe button because I have a lot coming up. Now I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.